Hey fam, it's Black Hippie here, coming with you guys in a new video. And today what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about what your boa constrictor imperator is gonna look like at about a year old, right? So if you're interested, tap in. Yeah, this here is Kiki. So most of you guys who watch the channel, you guys know a lot about Kiki already. Um, so I won't repeat myself, <laughs> but for the most part, for those who don't know, she's what you call a Colombian BCI. And Colombian is just a locality, right? So that's technically where they come from. Colombians are known to be kind of the larger end of BCIs. And my, I have a Central American down here, Bowie. Central Americans are known to be the shorter end, right? And so females are gonna be a little bit larger than males. Um, so that's one thing. But another thing too is that like, you know, it's gonna be different for everybody. It really depends on kind of locality, which is what I was recently alluding to, like her being, like I said before, a Colombian. And Colombians just get bigger. Like that's just, you know, that's just because their locality, right? Uh, and Central Americans, um, Central Americans are smaller, and that's just how it is, right? So I'll show you guys kind of both, that you guys kind of see the difference between the two. Um, and so like I said, here's Kiki, kind of stretch her out a little bit, but you kind of see the frame, right? Like she's about almost as long as my, my arm, right? And so, um, yeah, she's about as long as my arm. Um, and you can look at her size, like she's nice, thick muscle. She's not fat, right? So I'm not like overfeeding her. And pretty much like when you have a BCI, um, I was told when I first started collecting them, I was told to kind of, when they're babies like this or they're young, the first like year and a half, to keep them on mice, right? So kind of put them on like large mice, make it to this size versus giving them uh, rats. Uh, you know, once they're large enough to handle a small rat, then you can put them on small rats, which typically what I was told is about a year and a half to two years old. Um, but take that with a grain of salt. Um, typically, well, I would say for me with these boas, um, I plan on growing them slowly. So I'll probably keep them on large mice for another six months or so. I probably won't start them on small rats until they're about probably two years old. Um, or unless they're big enough for it, which I doubt. I think they'll, they'll be fine. So about probably they're two years old, that's when I probably switch them over to a uh, small, um, my, I'm sorry. <laughs> so I'll switch them over to small adult rats probably, or maybe medium, just depends on how big they are. But yeah, so in size, technically, this is about what you're looking at for a year old, right? Um, and some people put them in tubs, some people put them in enclosures, like you kind of see behind me, these are glass enclosures. Um, I eventually will be switching them over to, um, it's a different type of enclosure, it's called polyurethane, polyurethane, poly, polythene, polythene, poly messing that all up. But it's, what it is, it's like 3D printing, and so those enclosures are just pretty badass. Um, and they last like forever. So I'll be doing a whole video on that pretty soon, upcoming, stay tuned. Um, and yeah, so like I said before, if you, you know, a year old BCI, this is what you're, you're looking at, female. And like I said, this is a Colombian. So Colombians are gonna be slightly a little bit bigger. And like I said, it also really depends on how much you're feeding them and how often you're feeding them. That's more about, I feed them every 10 to 14 days, sometimes even a little bit longer, it just depends. Um, but yeah, if I was feeding them like once a week or twice a week or something like that, some people will do, man, like she would be like way bigger right now, for reals. Um, and that's not a good thing, you know? You want them to look like this, like a square. Can I see up close? You know, it's like a square. She's not like a circle. Like she's like anything like a, you know, a ball python. Ball pythons like have that circle sausage like look. Um, your boa shouldn't, you know, your boa should, should be muscular and should have like a lean look to them, you know? And so, yeah, so like I said before, this is a year old. So this is what you're looking at. At a year old, once again, a Colombian. So if you get like a Central American, it's gonna be smaller, right? But yeah, it's so funny because it seems big, right? Like, so say if you're not used to handling uh, snakes at all, or you're just getting into the trade, or maybe you've never had a snake of this size yet, 
it can feel a little intimidating at first, but like once you get used to it, it's really not. It's like, it reminds me like if you have like a puppy and your puppy is gonna, you, you say, you, say you have a St. Bernard puppy, right? And it's like, you know, it doesn't, your puppy doesn't just pop up one day and all of a sudden it's a full grown size um, St. Bernard, right? It takes time for that St. Bernard to reach that particular size. So same thing with boa constrictors or snakes in general, right? It's gonna take them time. Well, that's not true. Uh, specifically boa constrictors or BCIs, it takes them some time to grow. Like they're very slow growers. So they're just not gonna just all of a sudden wake up one day and your, your boa is six feet long. Like that doesn't happen, you know? So it's gonna take some time for them to grow. And that's the cool part, right? Is that you get to grow with them and tame them down and, you know, I'm gonna put Kiki up here. I'm gonna pull out the Central American so you guys can see um, him, okay? So, be right back. So, yeah. <laughs> anyway, so this is my Central American boa. As you can see, he's a lot smaller than Kiki. Um, no, near even the same size. <laughs> but once again, like I said, he's a Central American and he's the same age. So he's about a year old. Um, they're both the same age. They're both kind of the same temperament. He gets a little bit more nervous than Kiki does, um, but he's really chill. Um, but he's a cool dude. He's really curious most of the time, you know? But as you can see, it's like way smaller. Uh, and that has a lot to do with, because once again, he's a male. And also he's, I told you guys before, like locality wise, he's a uh, Central American. So that's why he's smaller. So for those who really want a boa, but they're afraid of say like a size like Kiki, you know, I would say a Central American is a great option. You have like the Nicaraguans, you have um, Hog Islands also. Um, but yeah, like, you know, do some research on that. There's plenty of options out there for you. Uh, if you're say like a little nervous um, of a snake that can get, you know, seven, eight feet, right? Uh, this dude right here, he's gonna probably max out at probably five feet. I would say max, maybe four feet. He's not gonna get that big. And so, um, yeah, like a lot of people always, a lot of people sometimes have this assumption that like, you know, if you get a boa constrictor, imperator, it's gonna be this big, huge thing. And uh, in reality, <clears throat> in reality, it's probably not. If you feed it correctly, and if you get one, um, you know, of the right locality that you like, um, your snake should be, nowhere near looking like a, a retic or a Burmese python, you know? Cool. So yeah, this is Bowie here and he's acting it's a little weird today. It's like how he's climbing up on me. Not really having a good grip. Anyways, so yeah, let you guys get a good look at him. Looks so much different from when I first got him. His color is way different. So that's another cool thing when you get when you get a boa, especially as like a baby, you get to kind of see them grow. And so like when I first got them, you know, till now, you know, it's just very different, very different. And yeah, it's a cool snake. But what I'm gonna go do is I'm gonna go put him up and then we're gonna go feed them, you know. So if you're interested and you wanna see him eat, tap in. All right, fam, so that does it. Thanks again for watching. Um, and if you haven't already, once again, go ahead and hit that subscription button. Put this side, that side. Uh, yeah, and that does it. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Uh, if you have any questions, or if you wanna see more of anything, um, or if you wanna hear on a certain topic, go ahead in the comments below and let me know what you wanna see. Cause that's literally what I wanna do here. Is I try to like, I don't know, like show you guys like cool stuff that you may want to see or you know cool stuff you may want to learn about uh yeah and so anyways that does it i hope you guys have a great day great night um and until next time black hippie out much love peace